Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to read a story called Grandma Blanca's Blackout Barbecue. If you ever had a storm happen and the power went off and you wondered what you could, uh, what you would eat, how would you go about cooking? Well, sometimes we can use fire to help us cook our food. We're going to read this story that is exactly like it. As you can see, we have a grandma and two girls. What do you think is going to really happen in this story? Think about it. Okay. Let's look. The, you know, this here was written by Argentina Palacios. Hey, who is in the story? These are the characters who are in the story. We have Mama, Grandma Blanca, Aunt Clara, Anita, and Sophia. What is the story about? A backyard barbecue. Boy, it looks like they're dancing. It looks like they're sure having fun. Grandma Blanca and Anita and Mama have been waiting all day for their guests. The storm is getting pretty bad out there, Mama says. Anita yelped in fear as the thunder crashed loudly. They're here! They're here! she cried. She ran to the door and threw it open. Anita's cousin bolted out of the door and ran towards the house. Anita! she yelled. Sophia! I'm so happy! I thought you'd never get here! Anita yelled. I know. I kept checking the GPS to make sure Mom wasn't going the wrong way. It took forever to get here with the rain. We were fine. The only map tool I need is my memory, Aunt Clara said. I don't need a new fancy gadget. My girls! Grandma Blanca said. She swept Anita and Sophia in a huge hug because she loved them so much. Come on, Grandma, Anita said anxiously. I've got things to show Sophia. Those two, Mama laughed. You'd think they'd run out of things to talk about with all the emailing they do. Any granddaughter of mine is sure to have plenty to say, Grandma Blanca said. Do you think they love their grandma? Oh, Anita cried, my game, mama, the computer turned off. I was showing Sophia how to play and I was winning. Anita said as she stomped her feet, the storm must have knocked the power out, honey. Don't worry, it'll probably be back on soon, Mama said. The TV won't turn on, Anita cried. I'm bored. Why don't you read a book, Aunt Clara suggested. Can't, Mom, Sophia sighed. My e-reader's battery died in the car. It's easier to read an actual book, Aunt Clara said smiling at her daughter. This was my favorite book when I was little, Aunt Clara said. She began to read to Anita and Sophia. They all took turns reading and acting out all the parts. Grandma Blanca was the best prince. Have you ever not uh, acted things out as you was reading? That sounds like fun. The storm had ended by the next morning, but the power was still off. The power company said it could be out until Thursday. The food is going to spoil in the refrigerator, Mama yelled. 
three days without power? Anita and Sophia groaned. Can we go out to eat in a restaurant? Anita baked. Think of a time that the power went off. What did you do? Were you able to come up with ways to eat? No one is going anywhere, Grandma, Blanca said. How do you think people ate all those years before Ben Franklin and fancy cooking machines, huh? Go invite the neighbors to Grandma Blanca's blackout barbecue. Tell them to bring whatever food they have that could spoil, yelled Grandma Blanca. The girls raced out of the house. They were so excited. Soon, people were coming from all directions to the barbecue. Clara and Grandma Blanca's grilled all of the wonderful food their neighbors brought. You could smell the hamburgers down the block. Mario from across the street played his guitar. People sang along. Mr. Sierra took Grandma's hand and spun her around the yard, dancing like they were in a huge ballroom. Everyone laughed and ate as the sun slowly sank. Just as it was getting too dark to see, the whole street lit up. The power was working again. Everyone started cheering. Anita, you can go inside and finish your game with Sophia now, Mama said. Anita and Sophia didn't even hear her. They were too busy dancing. I hope you enjoyed that story. Did it bring back memories for when the power went off at your house?